Welcome back to another video of the Viasa Masterclass series. In today's episode, we are in for a treat. As I will be facing the legend himself, Marcelo Biasa, later on when we face up against Leeds United today. But before we get into the epic encounter, as usual, I'm going to go over a quick recap of how our match result went after the 4 0 mauling of Fulham at home in our last video, where we have climbed above both Man City and Man United to third place in English Premier League as a result from that match. So I have played three games before this video and here is the summary. Beginning with our first match, I regret to inform you that we lost 2-0 to Sheffield United unexpectedly at home despite dominating the whole game. That was our first home defeat of the season. So our fortress has finally been breached at last. And I was regretting my decision to rest a lot of my key players ahead of that match as I underestimate the strength of Sheffield United. And as a result, the scoreline reflects the outcome. And another bad news that came along with that defeat is that we lost Eric Polga, who suffered a broken foot injury in that match. And according to our team, he will be out for quite some time. And to be specific, three to four months. On a side note, during the FA Cup competition, we are draw at home against Cardiff City, where our young striker Troy Parrott is currently on loan. So far, he not doing so well as he only managed to score one goal in his last 10 appearance for the Wales club. Now, our next game was again Wolverhampton Wanderer and we are defeated comprehensively three goals to nil during that match. The worst defeat plus performance since our last game against our arch rival Arsenal. Also, this is our first time losing two games in a row consecutively. During this game, we lost a lot of the ball in the middle of the park and unable to cope with the counter-attack of Wolf. And if we're not for Hugo Lloris' superb performance, the margin of the scoreline will be worse than it already is. It was a really bad day in the office, especially in the midfield department, as we can't seem to hold on to the ball or dictate the middle of the park as we normally would. Again, I make a mistake by bringing back Doherty and Mora too soon instead of keeping Bell and Regulon in the lineup for this match. As for the overall result, it was fair and I have to admit we deserve to lose the game. No excuse whatsoever. However, good news is that we managed to pick up ourselves during our next game against Burnley where we won comfortably 3 goals to nil. In this game, I decided to make some change from the previous match where I dropped the Hurti and bring in Regalon at the left back, which meant Aurier will be playing over at the right. Bell also returned to the starting lineup as he commands for Mora, but we will be playing over at the left, which means Sun will be playing over at the right side. Kane broke the deadlock for us in 35th minute where he scored his 150th goal for Tottenham Hotspur and his sixth for the current season after receiving a brilliant pass from Hoiberg outside the penalty box. He then doubled the lead for us and scored his brace for the night on the 76th minute after great play by Regulon and Mora before receiving a pass from Aurier. Hoiberg then wrapped things up for us two minutes later after connecting well to a free kick cross from Gareth Bell. We deserve the victory as we dominate the game with 20 shots against four of Burnley. A great win nonetheless, and from the looks of it, seems like we are back to our usual self, and I hope to keep the momentum going again. Now at last, the time has come for us to meet Leeds United, and of course, the man himself, Marcelo Biasa, who inspired this series to begin with. It will be an epic game with two tacticians who will be using similar tactic and philosophy. A wins again leads today will see us climbing to second place depending on the result from other matches. As for the lineup for this match, we have our captain Hugo Lloris at the back and he will be covered by Regulon at the left back, Dyer and Adewere in the center and Aurier at the right back. While Hoiberg will be keeping his place in the end, Ali and Lechosa will be in front of him. Bell returned to the lineup but we switched Sun for Mora because I wanted to rest him for this game. As usual, we have our talisman Kane leading the line again. Over at the bench, we have Hart, Sanchez, Davis, Ndombele, Winks, Sun, Lamela, Bergwijn, and 
vanishes. The game has begun. Kane pass to Hoiberg. To Dyer. Daly back to Kane. Kane trying to find Lucas Mora over to the right. But the ball is too heavy. Dallas managed to get it there first before Mora did. We have the free kick here. Lichoso. Oh, chance here. Hoiberg. Oh, my goodness. How could he miss that? That should have been a goal. We should have break the deadlock right then. Rafinha here. Intercept there by Oria. Great play. Now, Dele Alley. We are with the ball now. Finding Lucas Mora. Lucas Mora. One on one with Rafinha. Come on, Lucas Mora. Oh, nice sliding. Oh, we still keep the ball. Great. The Choso finding Hoiberg. Hoiberg. Oh, with a shot. Ah, it's just wide off the post. All right. Oria is getting a yellow card. So I'm going to give him instruction to ease off the tackle. We don't want to take any risks so early in the game here. Okay. Hoiberg now with the ball. Finding Kane. Kane back to Hoiberg. Hoiberg saw the run of Delhi Alley. Can he get to it? Yes. Great. Delhi Alley. Find a cross. Lucas Mora. Ah, blocked by Luca, by Liam Cooper there. So that's it. The end of the first half. We are dominate the game with 11 shots, but still couldn't find a goal. Let's go for a quick team talk. Pump fish. Let's see. Let's go for this one. We've been a better team here. Just keep what you're doing and we'll be fine. All right, in terms of uh, final third, I was thinking, should we revert back to work the ball into the box? Maybe not. I think it should be fine. Let's go for a position uh, control, checking with fan, with our assistant. All right, we're good to go. Rafinha with a cross here. Uh, now Leeds United score a goal. <sighs> Not a restart that we are hoping for in the second half. We are behind one goal to nil now. Gosh. All right, looks like fatigue coming to play now. Bell needs to be subs out here so we're gonna bring Sun Human to replace him alright Aurea with a free kick here pass to Hoiberg to Dyer Dyer now finding Lucas Mora to Chelsea Lichoso a oh, great pass Kane ah blocked by Cooper Aurea ah, another brilliant block by Liam Cooper there it looks like uh we need to subs out Hoiberg for Ndombele. Again, Fatik came into play here. Right, we have the ball here. Sun Humin. Finding Kane. Finding Sun again. Sun! Ah, oh, da. Come on. All right, Kane also needs to be subs out as well. So his replacement will be Vinicius. Okay, here with another chance. Oh, great ball by Lechoso. Regulan blocked there by Ailing. We still have the ball though. And Dombele finding Dele Alley. Right, Sun Human here. With a cross. Lechoso. Oh, what a save by Casilla. Regulan, Sun. Dele Alley. With a cross. Oh my goodness, that is a poor pass. What is he thinking? Oh, great there. Great determination by Lechoso to win the ball back for Lechoso here. Uh, he needs some help. Yeah. Two against one. It's nothing much that he can do. He also fatigued as well, so that could be the factor. We still get the ball. And don't belay. Oh, brilliant pass there. Saw the run of Sun. Blocked by Ailing. Now, Delhi Alley. Finding Don't Belay. Tregulon. Ah, there's nobody in the middle. We still keep the ball. That's great. Oria in here. Come on, guys. Great plus. Ah, great defense by Leeds there. All right. We still have the ball. Oria. Ah, gosh. Well, looks like we're going to suffer our second defeat at home this season from the looks of it. Um... 
I'm a bit disappointed, but at the same time, we do really well with the way that we attack. I just hope that we could finish the game off because the chances that we have just now is a lot actually. That's it, game's over. It was a fight to the end, but unfortunately, the lady luck is not on our side today, despite we are pushing for it. It was a bitter defeat as I feel we could secure a win due to many chances that we created and plenty of opportunity as we are going forward. Leeds defense was like a wall today and I have to give the credit where it is due. It's not a bad performance for us, it's just one of those days where nothing goes our way despite we are trying our best to make it happen. Thank you once again everyone for watching, you can click the like button down below to help with the algorithm and subscribe to support the channel. Until we meet again in the next episode of BSR Masterclass Series.